we are definitely seeing a paradigm shift when it comes to our financial systems and structures. The first thing I want to say is that um, we're getting a reprieve this month energetically, which is really nice. And that is because we have lots and lots of mutable energy um, coming into the transits in the month of March. So that kind of begins with we're in Pisces season, right? And Pisces is a mutable sign. So Pisces season is all about compassion and connection and emotions. And that's really beautiful because we've just moved into the age of Aquarius. And now we've got this incredible month where we're really able to tap into that Piscean energy. Um, and that Piscean energy in conjunction with Aquarius is really what activates that compassion and connection. Um, so that's beautiful. Mutable energy is all about fluidity and adaptability. So maintaining flow states, um, being able to be flexible and not being super rigid in our thinking. And so the beautiful thing about even the challenging transits and the challenging things that we're experiencing right now is it seems easier for us to deal with it, with it because we are mentally, um, energetically and emotionally in a greater state of fluidity and we have more acceptance around being flexible and looking for alternative paths um, to our destination. So one of the things though that's still going on for us is we are still really experiencing that tension from last month's Saturn Uranus square that I talked about in last month's forecast. Um, and so, you know, and, and that is all about, again, like just these, the crumbling of our existing structures and systems that are no longer working for us. I think it's really incredible uh, to look back on what happened in February compared to what we talked about in the wealth forecast, because we saw huge increases in cryptocurrency value, um, Bitcoin, in addition to many other digital currencies you know, having huge, huge upswings. We saw Elon Musk very publicly coming out um, and talking about cryptocurrency. And a lot of that aligns with the things that we were talking about in the wealth forecast. Like we are definitely seeing a paradigm shift when it comes to our financial systems and structures. Um, and that is, you know, something I've been talking about for a couple of years. And it's really nice to actually have it upon us now. Um, the worst is not over, but we're starting to see the evolution of where we're going when it comes to currency. Um, and so I think that's really exciting.